Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Check Me. We're going to follow up with this Kansas City Detroit game. Um, we had a good game. Um, I was happy to uh, see the outcome after what happened to us in the Super Bowl. So I'm happy that the, uh, the Detroit Lions, actually, I don't really care, but I'm happy that the Detroit Lions came away with the win. Um, just so it makes us feel a little bit better that they lost their first game of the season. But the Chiefs have done this before and they've gone deep in the playoffs, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but um, I think I want to talk about three things specifically in the game. Um, I want to talk about uh, uh, Aaron Glenn and the defense. And I'm going to talk about Chris Jones. Uh, and the last thing I want to talk about is um, uh, 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 Travis Kelsey. So a lot of people maybe maybe looking at it and saying, hey, you know, the Chiefs lost, man, because they had drops. No, I think Aaron Glenn really revamped that defense. Um, he put some play, he put, got some players in who were bought in the system. Um, you know, he went, got some Alabama players, you know, but he, he got some guys that are bought in the system. Still a lot of missed, missed opportunities in the secondary. I saw three drop picks out there, um, so they're still working some things out. Of course, you expect that in the first game of the season. Uh, I thought the Chiefs, um, you know, executed well on the up front. You know, Mahomes wasn't sacked one time, and that much credit to his elusiveness and his offensive line. Um, they weren't calling that uh, <laughs> that, had, that false start and then uh, a, a legal a legal motion just from the the tackle uh, moving so much. They weren't calling that, but they protected him well. He didn't get sacked once all game. But um, one thing Aaron Glenn did do that I thought would did well was they stopped the run. Uh, the Chiefs, if you look at their playoff run last year, and even in the Super Bowl, they ran the ball very, very well. And even though we talk about running back by committee, having just having the ability to run the ball, having good backs who can just run the ball is effective. And the two better backs on the field this year the, in this game were on the Detroit Lions side. Montgomery, who's a traditional downhill runner, up the middle, you know, you know, A gap, B gap guy. Uh, and then you have the guy Jamar, you have Jamar Gibbs, the Alabama product, who was, you know, Doing a lot of those zone runs on the outside, um, but uh, which leads me to the point: where on on defense, the Chiefs weren't able to run the ball, and that was the biggest thing. Uh, not being able to run the ball and control the line does not open a lot of things up for your passing game. Now, we, we may say that uh, I do think that Aaron uh, uh, Aaron Glenn had did a good job of just being able to uh, have kind of not necessarily a cloud coverage, but keeping everything in front of them. Um, every time they did try to go deep, uh, the line secondary they were in position. Of course, Chiefs don't have a deep threat, and that's something that Aaron Glenn may have seen on the scouting report, but I thought he game plan well. Um, he stopped stopping the run up front, forcing Mahomes to pass, even though they didn't have Travis Kelsey. I think that was a, a huge uh, a, th a huge win for Aaron Glenn as much as how he got destroyed last year. So big up to Aaron Glenn. Watched him a lot uh, when he played for the you know Houston Texans and he played in the league. So um, good to see him kind of start off with uh, – it's game one, but start off with this defensive performance. Uh, stopping Mahomes down the stretch as well. So now let's shift to uh, uh, Chris Jones. The reason the Chiefs lost was because of Chris Jones, and from my personal opinion, um, when you have a guy that can draw double teams, that have a guy that can stuff the middle up, and he's not, he's gone, he's not there. Uh, you know, that's a huge miss. And one thing that the Lions did throughout the whole game was they controlled the line of scrimmage. When you control the line of scrimmage, it, it, it opens up so much opportunity opportunities for you. And, you know, they, they probably said, Jared Goff, we want you to go in there and just not make a mistake. Go in there, Jared Goff, control the game, be a game manager like you did with the, with the Rams, and just don't go out there and throw picks. If you look at the numbers, let me pull up the numbers here uh, for for Goff, uh, and, and just actually I pull the numbers, um, Mahomes, you, I mean, think go back to Aaron Glenn. You held Mahomes under 250 yards passing. He was barely 500, barely over 500. Um, you, you know, he, he picked them off. Uh, you know that's 77.5 77, 77 quarterback rating. That is that's that's good for me. You know I I, I like the traditional quarterback rating. So 77.5. 77 if I if I were to say that on the first game of the season, I'm gonna hold Mahomes under 250. Um, they're not gonna rush over 100 yards, and they're not gonna have a 100 yard receiver. Uh, receiver, I'll be happy. You know, if they, and win the game, I'd be happy. Uh, but you uh, uh, on on the defense side, Chris Jones. Um, you know, they control the line of scrimmage. When you look at the when you look at the Kansas City rushing, the their leading rusher was Mahomes. Uh, you know uh, Isaiah uh, Pacheco, Pacheco two point nine on the ground. Edwards Hair Claire three point seven. Um, Tony negative one, negative one, and Rashi Rice negative three. Um, that they control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball, but the Lions were able to run the ball. You know Montgomery was toting the thing up the middle. Jameer Gibbs explosive as well too, and coming out the backfield. 
uh, I, I missed uh, Marvin Jones' drops. And, you know, I, I don't know what was going on with Marvin Jones, but I missed his drops. Everyone else, you know, just being able to, you know, manage the game up front, you know, not pressure Derek Goff as much, not have him ever running, running, you know, running like his head cut off. The Detroit Lions did a great job of controlling the line of scrimmage, and that was to much credit of Chris Jones not being there. I had this conversation with someone. I feel that Chris Jones was a bigger miss than Travis Kelsey, which leads me to go to Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey, you know, uh, a guy, if you look at last year in the playoff run, he didn't have over 100 yards. Yes, he scored two touchdowns in three playoff games. Didn't have over 100 yards, averaged around six, six receptions. But the running game was what, except one game, was what helped them be successful throughout the playoffs. People think it's the elusive pass, but being able to run the ball is a game changer. Yes, Travis Kelsey would have, you know, made it made a different difference maker in the game. But I think Chris Jones would have made a huge difference maker, taking on double teams, stuffing the run, uh, allowing other guys to free up and pass and pass rush. And you did lose Frank Clark now too, as well. You brought in a different type of D line, so I, I would expect this out of I would expect this out of the Chiefs. Um, you know, yeah, you 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 lost Frank Clark. You know, you lost a lot of guys and. When I think of revamping, if I lose someone on the defense interior, I will want to replace them, and the Chiefs did not do that. So uh, just kind of overall, I'm not overreacting. The Chiefs are still the Chiefs. I do think it's going to be a tougher year, um, and we're going to see what it's like uh, with Mahomes. If teams start keying on Kelsey, we're going to see what it's like with Mahomes without having explosive guys um, that he's used to having. Um, yeah, Tony, you know, it's in Tony, it's in Kadavis to Tony's scout report he drops passes. I'm not surprised by that. It's in scouting report. He drops passes. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not surprised by that. Um, the John, the Lions guys they missed three interceptions, and then Marvin Jones. I don't know what was going on with him. I don't think he it triggered for him to play football yet. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say that, but Marvin Jones dropped a couple of passes out there that he normally does catch. Uh, so, there's an even trade off uh, when it comes to the drop passes. But a uh, good first game. Uh, I think the Chiefs will relatively be okay. It's going to be tougher, but it's going to be okay. We're going to expect a lot more out of Mahomes this year uh, just because he, don't, he doesn't have those seasoned receivers. Well, he has the battle scanning, but he doesn't have that, that explosive guy like, like ever since uh, uh, Travis uh, 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 Tariq Hill left. And the defense is going to have a struggle as well too unless they get Chris Jones in there and then maybe surround him with some talent, some free agents out there. So um, we'll see what happens. That's just my reaction from the game. Um, and excited to see what continues to happen out of this uh, out of this season. So first game in the books, Thursday Night Football. Uh, this is Check Me. Thank you for tuning in. I'm out.